Hello, this is Sim Racing Corner, and this is a £50 H pound shifter for PCs. And uh, what do you get for £50? Well, I have to say, this is actually quite impressive. I'm actually really, really impressed by it so far. Um, I haven't actually used it, it only arrived today, and um, uh, I've been just basically articulating it on the table here, just playing around with it, getting a feel for it, and I have to say, it's got a really nice motion and tension to it. <clears throat> got a yeah, pretty strong spring as well in the in the side to side spring it's pretty strong and uh, and overall it's got a really solid feel because it's metal it's like all metal encased inside it's all metal as well so I'll take you uh, a quick tour um, around the outside before we have a look inside because I do want to show you the mechanism because it is really really smart and it looks really durable to me I'm quite impressed by this um, so at the bottom you can just see it's the base uh, cut slotted holes for mounting, which I think is me perfect for 8020. It did come with um, a set of uh, nuts and bolts actually for screwing down as well. Of course, the USB cable. I have plugged it in and tested it and it, all the gears work. And um, you can see there is eight gears on here and we'll talk about that in a moment. The case is solid. You know, it's, it's, there's no flex in it. It is actually solid aluminium. Um, so it's got, overall it's got a really solid feel. Top is also aluminium uh, and it's been, um, it's been I think powder coated. It's, uh, it's not paint, it's painted and obviously in some way it's not a sticker. So that's kind of nice. Um, and, and you can see eight gears, which will work because I have tested it. Uh, so I guess seven gears in reverse. Uh, they also have one um, on the, if you check the link in the description, you'll see there's different versions of it. So if you do, are interested in buying it, make sure you click the thumbnail of the one that represents the type of top plate it has. Because they do have one which is um, uh, seven gears. So um, uh, yeah, and so that, that, that kind of, that gear, um, yeah, that gear is kind of locked out, so you just go straight into reverse. And they have one also with that as well, but we've also kind of weird switch on there for like a, uh, switch for reverse gear. It looks a bit weird to me. I would not recommend that one, uh, but I think this one would be the one to go for. This way you have, uh, you know, you don't need to use maybe seven gear most of the time, but maybe if you're playing, you know, truck simulators and all that sort of stuff, you might want that extra gear. I'm sure you would. And um, what I'm going to show you first, actually, that I'm going to measure the pull force, because I have measured it, and um, it's over two kilos from gear to uh, neutral. And I'm just measure it with this. I have used this before on other mods I've shown you. In uh, when I reviewed the Logitech mods for adding shift attention, so this is basically the same scale I've been using for all my reviews. And it should come in at over two kilos. So let's bring that in. So about 2.2 kilos. Uh, from neutral to gear, it's a bit less. Not that you can really feel it, but I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'll just show you that as well. And it should be about 1.9 or 1.7 there. And just another, another go. So from we're in gear at the moment, when third gear. And there you go, 2.1 something kilos. Um, and we're going to take a look inside in a moment because it's a really clever mechanism. I think it's really good and durable. It looks really durable and simple. It's clever stuff. Um, you can adjust the height of the, of, the, of the stick, basically, because you can screw it out. And you see that retaining nut at the bottom. Just screw it up a bit. And just tighten it up, and then you can just adjust it. I had it in its lower setting which obviously means it's going to be stronger feel, but it can go quite high up. You can just see how high it goes. And then you just obviously just adjust it to whatever you want. So it's got nice, yeah, that's nice to have. Um, it's, uh, if you do want to put your own gear knob on there, it's an M8 threaded rod. I have checked it. So you can see there, standard stuff. That's one side. And so let me get the Allen key and we'll take this top lid off. Um, as I said, it's really clever stuff, but before I take it off, let me just show you the switches. So those are all micro-switched, and you should be able to just see them there. You can just see them all along there. So all micro-switches, and you can see how they're attached to this board at the moment, because I think it's, uh, it's a pretty neat solution. So it's, it's elegant, elegant inside. 
so yeah, a lot of thoughts gone into this design. Um, I have to say, I'm quite impressed actually what they've done here. For 50 quid, I have to say this, uh, my first impression, although I haven't used it actually in any games yet, um, the pull tension reminds me of the Logitech uh, driving force shifter using the 3D wrap mod Cambio mod, the shifter tensioner, something I have reviewed. And, um, but this is nicer because it's all metal, you know, the whole thing's solid and it's just got a nicer feel to it. So it's got the same sort of, sort of the same feeling as that, but better. Um, it's also cheaper as well. If you think about it, if you, you know, for um, the Logitech shifter, you can get maybe one for like 30 quid, 25 quid maybe on eBay, which that's how I bought mine. Add a um, Leo Bodner USB adapter, it's about 20 quid. So that's gonna put you around sort of 40, 50 quid. And then maybe the mod Cambio, which I can't remember what it is. What well, I can't remember what the price is. For your yours or something like that, it puts it above this price. But this is a more solid feeling shifter because look, it's all it's not all metal and it comes across. So I'm just gonna take this lid off. And I'll show you how clever this is. First, I'm gonna show you this because look. So we have all the switches on the little circuit board here, and they're connected up to that. And we have then our some sort of little board, I guess it's some sort of a Arduino type sort of controller that's been programmed, but it's really neat. That's kind of clever. Uh, but yeah, what I want to show you is inside because it is really, really smart. You can see, there's not a lot to show you. But I do want to show you this because this is a clever little mechanism. And you see there's these little pincers here which trap the um, stick. And if we push it into gear, let me just show you here, try and get my, thumb out of the way you can just see it, it, it's, it's spring loaded so and those are little rollers on there so it just goes in between these rollers which are spring tensions so it's a really good reliable system which is basically going to be um, you know it's going to last a long time it's not going to break it's just using springs and it just uses all metal pieces in there and uh, there is no wear because these are little rollers little kind of bearing type um, things on there which is kind of cool. And the way it's um, the side to side tension is achieved, hopefully I can get, I can show you actually from this angle. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. You can see it's just more springs. So you can see it's like a sort of, it's, it's like a C shape, uh, this piece here. And um, it's just spring tensions in the bottom as well. So it's a really, really simple device. And you can just see the little, uh, get the right angle there. You can see that's where the cable connects into, up this side. So I was weird looking at the camera and trying to get the right orientation there. But there you can see that, which uh, just plugs into that on there. So that's a really, really simple, elegant design, and it provides a really nice feel. Um, you can see it's just an aluminium case. So really, really clever, a, thought, a really well thought out design. And um, it's something that's basically, you know, how's this gonna break? You know, you have basic micro switches on here, they can be fine. Um, the stick is not whacking the micro switches, it's hitting the, those little uh, levers there. So, uh, and micro switches, they last for, you know, years and years. So, um, yeah, a really simple, elegant little shifter, and it feels really nice. So I'm, I'm really impressed by this. Um, I will review this, but I think you can tell by my first impression that I'm pretty pleased with this. So I'll get it on the rig, do some testing, see how smooth it feels for the shifts and everything else. And, uh, and see how I get on. But I have to say, how can you go wrong? 50 quid for a H pattern shifter for your PC. And um, I think it's pretty damn good. I'm actually really impressed by it. Uh, I guess the final thing I want to show you, which I haven't mentioned yet, is you can just see the, obviously the gear gates, you see the slanted, they're slanted, so it makes it easier to go through the shifts, to capture the stick when it goes through the shifts. So yeah, nice, nicely thought out design overall. And there you go. 50 pound H pattern shifter, um, all metal solid as a rock and yeah pretty damn good so guys i will review this and uh not sure when i'll get that review out but as always you know i, I this is just a first impression and um uh, but so far really quite impressed by it because you know it's a it's a clever clever design it feels kind of nice as well at least on my table it does uh, i'll get it installed and see how it feels and you know see what it's like in games but i have to say hard to find any flaws here for 50 quid you know how can you go wrong anyway guys well there you go uh yeah Dr drop your uh, uh thoughts below the uh, below the video it's always good to hear what you have to say 
But yeah, I'm gonna get this uh, put back together, get it on the rig, do some testing, and we will have a review in due course. Anyway guys, thanks for watching as always. Uh, take it easy, and, um, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Happy simming and bye bye.